welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Judea Hartley. If you are new here, I want you to feel welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, what's up family? How's it going? So today I'm going to give you guys some morning tips that help me get my day started the right way. Okay, you guys. So the first thing that I have to do in the morning is pray. because prayer really helps me get like my mind together, my spirit together. It helps me sort of like set my focus in the right direction, sort of gather my thoughts, try to think about the right things today, count all of my blessings. So the first thing that I do is pray in the morning, you guys. And I want to tell you, like when we hear the word prayer, like we think it's like this deep, long difficult conversation with God and honestly it's really not it's just talking to God that's all it is it's simply like communication with him you could talk to God in your own way I thank him thank him for waking me up thank him for my family stuff like that so I have to do that first that's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning the second thing I do when I wake up in the morning, you guys, I have to show you this board. I have this easel, this white easel in my room where I actually write the date, the day, and of course the year on the top. And I write anything motivational that touches me on that board anything anything that really speaks to my spirit anything that I feel like is going to help me through the day so today I have like 10 things that I'm grateful for and I'm gonna show you guys that it's this big easel in my room and I just have to remind myself because the devil is tricky y'all like he will have you out here like looking at everything that you lost or everything that hurt you or every person that hurt you everything that's going wrong in your life he will really like trip you up if you allow him to so i use that board as a constant reminder that god is moving in my life the third thing that I do when I wake up is drink some tea. Now, I just recently started getting into this tea kick because I I think that like your food digests better. I think so. I don't know. Does that say it? Does it say that on a tea bag? Whatever. But I just feel better, like, when I drink the tea. Like, it's just a soothing, warm coat on my stomach. I think it's just, I don't know, it just helps your food digest better. It's just, like, it makes me feel like I have my life together. Even if I don't, child. <laughs> Duh. Fourth thing that I love to do when I wake up is journal, 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 journal. So you guys, in this journal, like I write like prayers or I'll write how I'm feeling today. But what I love to do, oh my goodness, what I love to do is turn on Joyce Meyer in the morning. I love to turn on Joyce Meyer when I'm getting ready because she always has a powerful word and sometimes it's so simple but it's so powerful and it always lifts my spirit and it just helps me just get through the day. And you know guys, I never really started my mornings off like this. Like this is a new thing for me. Like this just took place like within the last like six months. I had a lot of family members who who passed away and my spirit and my soul was just broken you know and I know that I love my friends but I know that my friends or anything else like wasn't going to heal my spirit and my soul but God so I really like turned over I don't want to say a new leaf because I'm a Christian I serve God I love God but I really like started a brand new like relationship with God because trauma and devastation will do that for you so I just journal in my book 
and it's been so helpful like on the days when the enemy tries it um because he does try it a lot I go back over like some important notes that I wrote that really touched my spirit. Maybe a word from Joyce Meyer or Joel Osteen, Sarah Jakes Roberts, T.D. Jakes, Pastor. I, love, I like Pastor Stephen Furtick too. He's so animated. I like Pastor Stephen. Pastor Stephen Furtick. Those are like some of my top. And of course, my father. Like those are some of my um some of my top favorites. And I just go back on my journal and I just really like read over my notes until my spirit feels like it can sustain the day so you guys some of the nuggets that i have received from some of the great pastors and spiritual leaders that i just named i wanted to show i wanted to share with you guys some of the really really valuable but simple nuggets that i found that like really 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 bless me and these are some of the um notes that i wrote down in my own journal so I wrote this on um, April 15th, 2020. It's power in deciding that this is not the end of you. Sometimes we go through so many things in life, so many heartbreaks and so much trauma that you really feel like dying. You know, so many people suffer from suicide and mental illness and it's a real thing that people go through. And you might, you might really feel like dying or really feel like giving up, you know, but it's power in deciding. When you decide, you make a conscious decision to say, you know what even though this broke my spirit like I'm not gonna let my spirit stay broken for the rest of my life so I love that I think I got that one from Joyce Meyer it's power in deciding that this is not the end of you second good nugget that I love it's ultimately knowing that God's got you let me tell you guys you think you know all of the details god will plan the best path for your life even down to the details and it's so important to really just kind of surrender and trust him because you guys he's smarter than us he just is no he just is he knows what he's doing he knows the beginning from the end he knows what you need i know that you might have something or have someone or have some place and it's right in front of you and nobody can talk you out of that because that is what you want and you know that that's what you love but God knows what you need and he knows what's going to happen in 10 years he sees the future he listens to conversations when you're not around so you really really have to trust God that he ultimately has your back Third really good point that I got. I don't know if this was from Sarah Jakes Robert. I don't know, child, but it took my edges away. It was so good. It's okay to have a bad moment. But it's staying there that becomes the issue. I think it's important that when you go through something traumatic, it's important to acknowledge that it hurt you because you do need, you do, you do need some kind of release. So it is important to acknowledge that it hurt you. But I think it's w it's when you pitch a tent there, when you pitch that tent, that's when the trouble comes in. I think you have to acknowledge it you have to and you have to surrender to the healing process and the healing process is really really messy i'm going through that right now i was just on the phone with somebody i'm really really close to in my church and i told her i said you know sometimes i feel like i can like like you know really like i feel like i can like do anything i have all the energy in the world i feel like i can function and then other days i really struggle and then sometimes it starts out as a struggle day and it ends really well and then sometimes it starts off really well and I have a struggle moment in the afternoon I lost a lot of family members so sometimes that because I miss them so sometimes that gets me um but I always make the decision to fight when I start thinking about like all of the family members that we lost I fight those spirits off with all of the blessings that God has given me my family and my church so you really do have to 
make a decision to fight because if you don't if you sit there and let the devil enter your mind he will enter and make your mind his playground you can't just wake up and say well I hope I don't feel sad today no you have to wake up and like declare that today is going to be a good day that you are expecting something great to happen to you today hope is a positive expectation that something great and life-changing and impactful will happen to you so it's so much easier just to have hope and just to believe that God has a plan